My name is Donald Champagny. I live on Wallen Lake Road. Thank you for being here to listen to our concerns. I totally oppose this plant, proposed plant. I can talk about the environment, how it's God's country, how much it means to me. I could talk about all that and the main points that people are raising, why we should have this. So I'd like to put a little different take on this. And I'm going to call it increased risk of disaster. Accidents happen. It's a part of life. This town, Pasco Barville, learned firsthand the impact of the poisoned well that it had. Could this have been, been foreseen? No, absolutely not. But was it studied enough or thought through about the impact a leaking service station underground tank would do to a, to a well? My point is this, accidents happen. A semi-tanker truck holds 9,000 gallons of fuel, give or take, that's one truck. If you multiply it by the number of tankers that will be transporting over our rural and residential roads, the risk of a disaster is increased exponentially. Imagine for one minute if just one, one has an incident, that would be 9,000 gallons leaking into our sewers, ground, and watersheds. It could happen in any town that they will pass through. The only bright side to this is if this does happen, is that we can build many more state-of-the-art, job-creating, economically beneficial green power plants in the aftermath. Water to cool those plants would not be an issue because there will be an abundance of polluted water to clean the use. All I am requesting is more insight and thought go into the increase of unforeseen risks involved if and when it happens, because accidents happen. We have state emergency agencies in place to deal with natural disasters. Storm preparedness, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Shouldn't the same be held true for an unnatural disaster? that this plant can cause directly or indirectly and deal with this threat? Please, let us not look at just the financial gains that can be made, which is all energy cares about. Yeah. Yeah. Hindsight does not have to be 2020 if we don't put ourselves at that risk. Thank you. Thank you.